Did you know there's a new maze in Lost Island in Art Survival Evolved? It's in the desert biome. I'm going to show you where it is. I'm going to show you how to access it. I'm not going to do a complete guide on it. You guys can fumble around just like me for an hour. But we'll just point out what to expect in terms of dangers and what kind of loot you can get from this place. There are no artifacts in here though, it's purely just cave loot. So yeah, it's probably not, I would say, the most worthwhile thing to do. Although there are at least four spawners, maybe five of cave loot that will carry on respawning. Okay, so the location of it, it is in the desert biome right down south and you can see the coordinates here right now. 87.7 and then 78.3. Now there's not a lot of landmarks to really guide you and it's pretty hard because it's not a cave so you won't find it at the floor on the bottom of a canyon, it's actually in the wall. But this was the closest one, this is like one of the highest points on this area and as obviously you can tell it's going to be in a valley down below. And there you can see the entrance just hidden away in the actual wall, that's why it's so tough to see as I was scouting around for an hour looking for a cave entrance on the floor. So once you get in, you've got the main entrance way and then you've got two offshoots. The right hand side is going to be where you enter the labyrinth and then the left hand side is where you're going to actually exit. Don't be misled by this stupid ascension thing. It makes it out as if you've got to complete all of the ascensions before maybe gaining access. I mean, maybe that's true. Maybe if that's the case, you don't have to do the maze. I'm not sure. But no, that's not the case at all. So if you go on the left, this is where you'll eventually come out. Obviously we're going to go to the right hand side and activate the switch to actually get in the labyrinth now. So you can see I'm scanning the walls, it's a really tiny switch, it's not obvious at all, there's loads of bricks and blocks that look the same. There is a bit of a shimmer on the pillar that you might have noticed just then and look how easy it is to miss it. So there you go, press the button and it should open up the wall behind you. There we go, we're in now and now we begin. As always with these, it's best to stick to one side. Eventually they kind of all do lead to the same spot. It's just about remembering where you've got. You've got some jumps to do. There is gonna be lots of traps that fire bolts at you, grenades and sleep grenades. So I do believe this green stuff does do you damage. You gotta be careful. But more importantly, the sleep grenades will obviously mean your cinema crops actually comes off of you. And if that happens, you could lose it to a whole bunch of bats and what else. Now I'm using cheats just to show you guys, as I said, obviously it's a little, just a walkthrough to give you a heads up and you can see I've finally started taking damage. It did take a while though. So that's it, once you get up, you can see that most of these little drops actually have a little walkway and that pretty much will give you a hint about what way you should be going. There might only be one particular drop that is certain death. So when you get on the other side, then you can obviously just keep following it. You've got this room with all of these pillars and it's got the red uh, flags on the sides of them and then it's a case of either hugging a wall to the left or hugging it to the right and basically stay on that way whatever direction you go if it's to the left just keep going to the left or keep going to the right again the traps don't seemingly trigger on any kind of block I thought they might trigger on these particularly large ones and they do reset so even if you've triggered it all of them and you keep running around this place eventually they will refill you can see some grenades being dropped now Obviously something like glow sticks might be great for this so you remember exactly what direction you've been going in. It is a bit complicated, you will find places that will loop back on themselves and there are a couple extra hidden doorways that you can activate too. You'll come to a room with a skeleton on it and then that's when it starts getting a bit more complicated because until this point you only have to either hold the left wall or hug the right wall and here's just one of the switches that activates another stone doorway that opens up. There's not too many of these though and eventually it will take us to a portcullis that will open up into the main chamber and there's another switch that we're going to have to activate as well. I do repeat, by now you should know this isn't a full blown guide on how to complete the maze. Honestly, I got lost. I spent like an hour. I did make it out, so I'm going to show you the exit point, at least so you know how to get out, because it does involve another hidden switch. But you can see we've got the gate coming out. So just to give you a heads up what to expect. There is a cave drop in here, and yes, you go and grab it, obviously, and you can see what kind of stuff we've got. Uh, yeah, I guess. Some nice artwork on the ceiling and stuff, and then there's pretty much only one way you can go once you've opened up that secret. I was trying to see if there's any more switches. The portcullis does close behind you as well. Here's one of the traps just firing some of the gas grenades. So they will inflict torpor damage on you. And then we've got a couple instances where the grenades were actually hitting me. And then I found a big room with a massive drop. So it feels like you need cinema crops or possibly there was another switch to open up maybe a stairway. Like I think if you drop in there, that's it, you will be dead. It doesn't look like there's any way to get out of it. I didn't really fancy testing it. 
another loot drop just to show you again what stuff you can get so a whip and a headgear ascendant i must add that's pretty decent and yeah this is the moment that i got overdone by the torpor because i've taken the cheats off just to see if it was okay and i kind of basically lost my cinema crops the encounter more jumps and drops with the spikes that come out of some of these pillars so obviously they're going to do quite a bit of damage so you just got to time it and go around and then that good old classic Ascendant Miner's Helmet, yay! But the trike saddle is pretty decent. So once you've had fun exploring, how the hell do you get out? Well, you should come to this mural with two uh, boys, Banksy's there, and another way. Now you basically want to go right of the mural, but don't go that way. You can see I, I changed my mind. Go up the stairs instead and follow this corridor around. This should lead you to the exit point. Now there is a switch on the right hand side of the wall, but for some reason I just could not find it the second time that I tried this. I was looking around and it just wasn't activating. It was, wasn't popping up at any point. So make sure you're really, really slowly doing it and you're really paying attention. Otherwise you could spend absolute hours inside this maze. And just to show you, I'm not chatting rubbish. Here it is. It's very tiny. It's really hard to miss. So there you go, click the button and that's how you escape. So if you really want me to do a walkthrough for this, I will. But I just feel like there's a lot to explore. You're meant to run around and get all the loot drops. It is tough, it is going to be difficult. This isn't build, this isn't advertised as a guide. I've clearly, hopefully put it in the title and the thumbnail. That is a location and just to show you what to expect. But yeah, at least hopefully I've shown you how to survive it at least a little bit. But yeah, let me know and maybe I'll do a full-blown guide for it in the future. But that's it. I'm off for a week now. Until next time, laters.